Oh yeah. All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to an absolutely stunning day here in Southern California. I'm currently on my brand new 2020 Street Fighter V4S, heading down to the Ducati shop to film another video with the Carbon S1000 RR. We're gonna be continuing to put that bike back together, get it back in running order. We actually started it up in the last episode and all it is a matter of time now, just getting the parts back on that bad boy. And she's gonna be done and ready to be ridden and given away to a new owner. If you guys would like to help support these projects and be entered to win custom dream motorcycles, head on over to the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. I, uh, <laughs> I still get asked all the time how I'm able to do this. Um, it's community funded, so people support the projects that's how we're able to pay for them and that's why we give them back to those community the people who support the projects when we're done everything's explained over on the patreon page so take a minute if you're interested go read how it works and if you want to support the projects we'd love to have you and of course we always appreciate everyone who just watches on youtube comments interacts with us uh, that's a big part of why we're able to do these series as well the s1000 rr will be finished this month uh, in the month of may and we will be we will be choosing a winner in june we're trying to align it alongside uh, the grand reopening of our Santa Barbara Ducati dealer. Uh, they're redoing the entire showroom right now. It's gonna look so good. I cannot freaking wait for it. Um, so it might be early to mid June. I don't know, we're gonna try and do a big like gathering there, have people come and hang out. Obviously if the country's open back up by then, which I'm praying that it is. Um, yeah, we would have the Street Fighter there. We'd have the Carbon S1000 RR there. We'd bring the Corvette there and invite everybody to come out. Maybe we could go for a big ride afterwards. Uh, you guys can all watch me choose the winner for the bike and I think it would be a really really good time and um, yeah that's the that's the game plan right now let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in attending in the comments below I've gotten so many messages over the past few months people wanting to ride with us wanting to meet us and wanting to see the bikes and the car and stuff like that so um, we want to do more of that stuff obviously right now it's kind of a shitty situation so that's why we haven't um, but yes we definitely want to do more of that kind of stuff in the future again let me know if you'd be interested in something like that in the comment section below. So I just had to turn this back on just to show you guys how freaking gorgeous it is in Santa Barbara. This is Shoreline Park. We're on the Mesa. You got beautiful hills and um, awesome houses right here, right next to the ocean. And then this road leads straight to downtown. It's just like, it literally couldn't be any more incredible down here. Yeah, I just realized Teens and her friend are over at the beach right now. I think they're gonna stop by after we're done working on the BMW today and check it out. So it'll be interesting to see what they think. I think Teens is gonna love it. And um, man, it might even be rideable today. We'll see what happens. All right, we have arrived here at Santa Barbara Ducati. Got the Street Fighter parked up. That, that bike is so sick, man. The styling has just grown on me more and more, especially after I've ridden it, just because it, it's so, so good. It's so capable. Got a bunch of Ducatis here lined up. Doesn't get any better, folks. So Rory just showed me, he went ahead and just finished up the brake system and bled the brakes um, off camera. And I gotta tell you guys, that is one of the best feeling brake levers. Holy hell, he's like, yeah, you're gonna have to be really careful because this could be really powerful. <laughs> Look at that. That's so, so good. So I think we're gonna start putting this back together today, putting as many of the fairings on as we can. We have titanium bolts for all of the hardware, so we're gonna be replacing that, and then we'll be using all the bolts going forward for the fairings, but uh, this is getting close. I just, I'm so happy that it, it's, it's rideable. It's now officially rideable. Oh, it's so sick. Okay, so I think one of the first things we're gonna do today is put on this side kind of top fairing cover. What are these called? I don't even know. Tank panels. Tank panels, something like that. And then we were just looking through all of the titanium bolts. Look at these guys. <laughs> Look how freaking gorgeous these are. Uh, this is for all the front uh, rotors. We have, uh, these are for the front calipers. These are for side fairings. Um, these are for the front fender. Like it's Manny hooked it up, dude. Pro tie, all for Manny at Moto Million. They're absolutely stunning. They're gonna really set off the bike and of course saving more weight too. So that is freaking awesome. And it actually matches a lot of these pieces really well. This bike is gonna be so incredible when we're done, guys. I am so excited. All right, titanium bolts being installed, folks. Obviously, there really isn't many color choices with these. They kind of like change color under the sun. They're blue, kind of like a purple, all different types of colors, but man, they look incredible. All, all, obviously, ideally, it would've been nice if it matched that color blue, 
but it is what it is. If we could have got black, I would have done black. Uh, the other option would have just been plain titanium, but I think I think this is gonna add another pop of color and it'll look really nice. So put on the left hand <laughs> side. Like, Zoolander, look at him weave. <laughs> Zoolander, look at the weave. It's it really is. This is this is art at this point, guys. Like every one of these bolts is a piece of art. Look at that. Look at the weave, how it carries across. I mean it just looks incredible. Alright, so next we're putting the top cover on. Uh, he's deciding to grease these little Tabs. tabs because they have to go inside of that and it's a very steep angle so you kind of have to like push it down and then they have to press in here before you can get the bolt in there it's actually a pretty uh technical little piece here you wouldn't think that it would be but it's going to take a little bit of time here a little bit of finagle because you don't want to break those carbon tabs off or else you're pretty much effed okay after about 15 minutes we took our time we got that top piece on and we did have to do some finagling. We ended up having to pull this bolt out to get it to slide down in. It was a lot of finagling. I ended up finger blasting the shit out of it. So uh, we're gonna wipe it all down, but it looks, guys, this is this is gonna be incredible. I cannot wait to see this thing come together. I mean, it, it really does look just absolutely insane. This is gonna be a really, really special bike. I think probably one of the best ones we'll ever do, uh, depending on what happens with the Street Fighter. But I mean, this is just, it's been in pieces for God, probably three months now, and to see it finally starting to take shape is, it's making me very, very happy. All right, we got the bike raised up. We're gonna do all the titanium bolts for the front wheel, uh, the cowl, all that kind of stuff, and the rotors and the calipers, but what we're gonna do, since we had it raised up, we're gonna replace this stock oil. Fill cap. Fuel cap. Fill. Oil fill cap, thank you, with a new one from Gillies, and look how much nicer that looks than this one. Little things, guys, little things. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove the front fender, and then we can access all of the bolts underneath on the rotor, and even on the ABS ring, we have titanium bolts for that as well. Um, and then, of course, the uh, the, ca uh, the rotors, the calipers, sorry, calipers. You wanna talk about that, Zulan, and the, mag the magnetic? Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> okay, so we loosened all the uh, bolts. These are metal. So these are definitely heavy. I'd say that the, t the pro tie bolts are half the weight. I'm not gonna weigh all of these, we just don't have time. But I would say it's definitely about half the weight. And um, when you do that for rotating mass, and there's 12 of them, actually I think there's probably gonna be like 18 on the front wheel alone. So you figure if every one is, is you know, half as much weight, that's gonna definitely save some weight on rotating mass. And of course it looks absolutely stunning just above and beyond folks that's why we do this dream bikes that's what we're doing in here another really cool feature of these pro type bolts is they actually tell you the torque right on the side 35 Newton meters for the uh, front rotors so that makes things nice and easy for us all right got this side done look at how freaking gorgeous those things are obviously the blues don't match completely but I still think they look absolutely incredible I'm glad we went with those that blue color I think it looks so cool Okay, now on the other side we got the ABS ring. We're gonna loosen that first and just let it hang while we uh, do all the other bolts here on this rotor. All right, tie bolts going in on this side and then we can uh, torque them all down and then reattach the ABS uh, sensor ring. But tell them, we talk the, uh, we talk the other side. The yeah. One side complete. Yep. You think you won't forget, but you will. Yeah, we did around them all of those, made sure they were torqued. We'll do the same thing on this side yeah, too. And the fucking brake rider comes off your Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> not gonna be good. Everyone gets a little fucking <laughs> winky about it. Okay, next putting the bolts in the ABS sensor ring. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> that prior discussion. <laughs> It sucks that it covers up the uh, titanium bolts there behind it, but uh, we know they're there. If you watch this video, you know that they're there. The white. It's another cool thing, guys, about Pro Tie bolts. Most of the ones that need Loctite have it already on there. Look, he just pulled that out. He didn't Loctite that yet. Already has it on there. That's really, really nice touch by them. Uh, so this is what the sensor. Yep. So sensor bolt. I mean, we're going. <laughs> this is. We're going deep now, boys. We're deep in there. Then we're gonna do the caliper bolts next. All right, caliper bolts are out, or the first one. Look at the difference, guys, <laughs> between these. Oh my God, how, yeah, that's a lot, a lot lighter. Once again, I'd say it's like half the weight of the other one. That is, that is beautiful. All right, Rory's got both of the uh, bolts in there, 
and now he's gonna torque them down and then we'll be good to go on that side. Look how gorgeous those are, guys. And then my buddy Jonathan just pulled up on his new 2020 S1000 RR and uh, he got, it's, I forget what color it is, but it's, it's basically like a Nardo gray. But uh, he had a, what did you have, a 16? 16. A 16 S1000 RR, which was super cool in the BMW Motorsports color scheme. Yeah, I love that bike. But uh, he said it's definitely not quite as good as the old, like throttle response, throttle right? Response and wise, yeah, it's yeah. not there yet. I told him he needs to flash the bike and then after the break in too, because all the power is over that eight, 9,000, which they it won't let you go over right now. But it's funny to see this bike bone stock and then we got that other one over there. You gotta come over there and take a yeah, look at that thing, dude. It's gonna be cool once they're together. Once I have that back together, we'll have to go for a ride yeah, and I'll let you swap bikes and stuff and try it out. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful bike, man. I'm excited for you. Actually, All right, just tightening down these bolts right here on the front fender. And now we're just titanium bolts everywhere. What's up? That's a torque. Oh, torquing them? <laughs> that's not digital, that's a click torque. Right? That's amazing, it's click wrench. All right, so since we got the front wheel done, I figured we uh, put the axle sliders on and really just finish it off. These originally came in red. They couldn't come in any other color. We one. had them painted. What's that? Oh yeah, yeah. That's how they came originally. And then Alex went ahead and painted them for us in black. And I think it looks freaking perfect. I was thinking about doing blue, but I just wasn't sure if it would be too much or look tacky if it didn't match perfectly. So I think that's perfect. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna do the rear rotor bolts. In order to do that, we gotta swap the bike around. But I was just looking at the, the wheels, the bolts and everything. It just looks, freaking ridiculous guys like they actually add a lot to the bike so now we're gonna do the rear rotor bolts and the ABS sensor ring and the ABS sensors back here and then we can probably put the axle sliders on too all right torquing down the uh, bolts in the rear rotor here they look freaking amazing even added the bolt to the ABS sensor there okay putting the uh, rear axle sliders on right now Again, same exact thing. They were red, we had them painted black. I was thinking about doing blue, but I just thought it might be too much and it wouldn't exactly match this blue. So I figured we'll just do black, keep it safe that way. Got all the titanium bolts on, the wheels, they look just absolutely incredible. And then these axle sliders will help protect the wheels and the axles, obviously, as well. Looks freaking badass. It's the first time it's been out in the sun in a while, dude. Get to see all the lines and the curves. What a view, wow. <laughs> soon it'll have fairings, guys, I promise. I promise you it's gonna have fairings soon. Perfection takes time. Look at that thing, dude. Oh my God. So Teens, Teens hasn't seen this bike in a while. Uh, you didn't even see the, the carbon subframe installed. Doesn't that look nice? And then we put the tank on and all these side pieces up here. Look at all that. Look at the cool ass titanium. I love the bolts. Aren't they beautiful? Such nice colors. And you didn't even see the new clip-ons and everything we did up there. Yeah. And then all, all, see all these titanium bolts. The reservoir scenes. is nice too. I like the Oh yeah. Yeah, he did that. He just bled the brakes. Feel that brake lever, dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> good. doesn't it feel good? Look at all these, all the titanium bolts. I love the bolts. The front wheel looks incredible. Like I, that's one of my it favorite parts so of the bike. It matches so well with the pipes. Yeah, it does. The, the titanium. The colors, yeah. It is just beautiful, isn't it? It's getting there. Wait when the fairings are on. I know. Did you see the spring? No. Painted. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? The whole back end looks nice. That's yeah. Matching. You see, like when you look down from this angle, it looks so good. matches very well. Yeah, it looks super good. I'm excited, man. Take some pictures. My back's broken. Yeah, Teens hurt her back. Go show her some love on her Instagram and her uh, YouTube channel. I'm taking off a t-shirt. I went like this, and then as soon as I did this, I threw her back out. I was crying. Taking off a t-shirt. And then today I heard it again. So I'm taking, every three days I take a three, a two step yeah. backward. I can't even talk. <laughs> okay. All right, but actually, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, Can you get in a bikini? Yes, I think we should. Let's bikini go photo. bikini style. That's what the thumbnail is gonna be. So people, if you lasted this long, guys, no, you should, teens. 
If you lasted this long, you get to see teens in a bikini. I was at the beach, that's why I have a bikini on. No, you're not gonna do it in a bikini? I think you should. Take it in a bikini. We'll do one with and one without. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you wanna be entered to win this bike, you've still got a couple of episodes left. Uh, Patreon.com slash Camp Customs. Don't forget, we're gonna be giving away a 2020 Ducati Street Fighter as well. So if you're interested in winning, wow. Either one of those motorcycles, uh, go head over there to the Patreon page. Uh, shout out to Teen, she's amazing. Give her a thumbs up. Subscribe for more, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. All right. I can actually technically ride this bike. Obviously, nowhere on the street, but it's fired up for Teen's. Oh, it's in here.